I'm making a custom throttle cable. Perhaps you're looking to make one too, or maybe you just want to follow along with the project. Either way, let's go! It all starts with a universal cable making kit. And the first step is to plan a good routing. I'm trying to avoid tight turns or places where the wire can get pinched. It's also good to account for the gas tank and the full steering lock in both directions. When I was happy with the path, I marked the length with a sharpie and brought the sleeve back to the bench. While cutting it length, it is preferable to avoid crushing it too much. I tried a few different tools, but in the end, I just cut it with a pair of shears. I had to spend a little bit of time cleaning it up and prying it back into shape, but it turned out alright. Next up are these end caps, and I gave them a quick crimp with a pair of pliers in order to keep them in place. Then it was time to feed through the actual wire and find the brass terminal for the handlebar side of the cable. After that it was time to prepare for the soldering. I used IPA to clean both the wire and the terminal. Then I used a pair of vice grips for positioning and started to fray the wire. This will hopefully add a mechanical lock to the joint to help keep the terminal bonded to the cable. Alright, time to add the flux. I think this might be the most important part of the process. Pick a flux that is made for the solder you're planning to use, and that works with multiple kinds of metal. The cable is most likely going to be made out of stainless steel, and the terminal is most likely going to be made out of brass. I will let you know when and if the cable breaks for me. Fire time! This did not go as well as I had hoped. First of all I got a little bit impatient and used the torch to melt the solder at the times. Then I think it's inherently difficult since the thermal mass of the area I'm trying to bond is so small. Meaning that melting the solder is cooling the area fast, making penetration difficult. Also, the flow from the torch is pushing the solder away from the joint. When I used a steeper angle, it worked a little bit better. But hey, at least I managed to solder my vice grips together, am I right? When I was happy, I started to clean up. I cut away the wire strands. I amputated the terminal from my vice grips. And I started to file away the excess solder. Then, I took the cable back to the bike. And... I was using a face mask when soldering, particularly the flux could be pretty nasty. When I was happy with the fit up, I cut the wire with some extra length. For the terminal on the carburetor side of the cable I found a screw on fitting. This particular one came from a wire repair kit I bought at some point. So I got it installed on the cable, adjusted the length a final time and gave it a try and like I was saying, I installed the cable for the first time, then I secured it properly and gave it a try. Thanks for watching. Consider watching this video or subscribe if you want to follow along with the project.